Hello, ladies and gentlemen, your friend Spencer here. We're glad to bring this news to you. Hope you're all doing well. I want to bring you a verse in the book of Proverbs, chapter number eight, the last verse in that chapter. It says, but he that sinneth against me wrongeth his own soul. All they that hate me love death. That's talking about God. All those who hate God love death. You know, we serve a God of life. He is the God of everlasting life. He gives us life and life more abundantly. He is the way, the truth, and the life. Our God is a God of life, but those who hate God love death. And in the context of the modern issue with abortion, we find that there is all kinds of crazy going on right now. And it really is insane what I'm about to read to you. This is from foxnews.com, May 9th, uh, 2022. Satanic temple to argue abortion is a ritual in legal challenges to states that put up hurdles to procedure. The Supreme Court opinion draft that would overturn Roe v. Wade has ignited a firestorm across diverse faith communities. Ladies and gentlemen, basically what that means is we the, the atheistic, uh, well, they're all really atheistic, but the satanic temple crowd, who I think are atheists in a, in a nutshell, are going to argue before the court that abortion is a ritual that we do for our religious purposes. And therefore, you are infringing upon our religious rights to have this procedure done. Uh, I want to tell you that, uh, let's just be honest, I don't think that that's wrong. I do not think what they're saying is incorrect. I think that these people uh, are basically Baal worshipers. These people are wicked. Uh, these people, this is a part of their religion. They, they, they want the blood. They want to offer their children up to idols. You see, in the Old Testament, they would worship Baal and Moloch and Ashtoreth, uh, which is which is mystery religion, Ashtoreth being the divine feminine. And they would worship these, and they would, they would cause their children to pass through the fire, and they would offer up their firstborn unto Molech, and that was the wicked religion that they were into. The article says here, the Satanic Temple said, it says, here it should be permitted religious exemptions to perform religious abortion rituals in states that have put up barriers to the controversial procedure. Responding to the leaked Supreme Court opinion draft that would overturn Roe v. Wade, uh, the Satanic Temple said it was committed to protecting re religious abortion access for its members. In states that outlaw this but grant exemptions for instances of all that, and it says in a statement, members should be permitted a religious exemption to perform TST's uh, religious abortion ritual. So they're, they're making a, a, a religion out of this. They did the same argument uh, when they tried to outlaw marijuana. They said, well, now this is a part of our religious rituals. So therefore we should have the right to do this. And guys, I'm going to tell you right now, this is the depraved mind on full display right here. Uh, the article even goes on to say the states that outlaw this do not grant exemptions present more, present more significant challenges, but TST has a number of plans that we will be undertaking quite soon. TST said, first, we will be suing the FDA to permit TST access to mifeprizone and uh, misoprostol for use under medical supervision is part of our religious abortion ritual. That's probably like the, the after pill or whatever. And TST said it's filed in a lawsuit under a federal RFRA, adding that um, unfettered access to these drugs, which are taken to terminate a pregnancy, should be considered a step towards enabling TST to perform its abortion ritual without govern, government interference. And this is the article that they have put up and on their own website and uh, what a crazy, the, the religious reproductive rights of the satanic temple. Guys, this is a real religion. These people exist. And uh, uh, matter of fact, uh, the, the old song Hotel California uh, that the Eagles did, it was about the satanic temple in San Francisco, um, started by Anton LaVey. I'm not sure if this is exactly the same organization here. But, um, but man, th this right here is proof of the wickedness of man. Man hates God. Man's not looking for God. They've all gone out of the way. They, there's none that seeketh after God. So all the seeker stuff that's out there that Rick Warren's pushing, really, it's, it's just unbiblical nonsense. The religious organization introduced the, the, the ritual to argue for a religious exemption under a Religious Freedom Restoration Act, a 1993 federal law which made it illegal for states to interfere in anyone's religion without demonstrating a compelling interest. And uh, so, T.S. 
PSD's argument was that if it regarded that as a religious ritual, then the state could not legally intervene or burden patients with prerequisites. The ritual argument came amid a series of lawsuits aimed at Missouri where women are, among other things, compelled to read informed consent booklets before going through with one of those. One of their arguments was that subjecting its members to these requirements violated one of its central tenets. One's body is inviolable, in, inviolable, subject to one's own will alone. And really, see that's that right there is the is the the plan, the mantra, really of of Satanism. That was what uh, the the line that God or that Satan gave to Eve in the Garden of Eden, saying that you know you can just do whatever you want. You ain't got to be subject to God's will. You should be subject to your own will. And that right there is the road to hell. Um, banning re- prerequisite procedures such as waiting periods, mandatory viewing of sonograms, and compulsory counseling contravenes Satan, uh, Satanist religious convictions. Those who perform the religious abortion ritual are exempt from these requirements and can receive first trimester deals on demand in states that enacted the F- Religious Freedom Restoration Act. Imagine being so wicked and depraved that you call it a religion to do this my goodness i mean I, I i was talking to my wife the other day and i said you know how can people be so wicked and and, and i i told her this i said the doctrine the doctrine of hell makes more sense every day the doctrine of hell i believe it more and more there is a holy god in heaven who sees all of this wickedness and he's putting it all down in a book and you will face that record one day in the great white throne judgment you see here in revelation chapter number 20 i'll take you there it talks about this great white throne and it's funny because it talks about the books being opened here um it said uh let's see revelation 20 verse 12 i saw the dead small and great stand before god and the books were open and another book was open which is the book of life okay so there's there's two books this this book is the book of life to show that your name is not there and these books what are these books You know, God has books. God's a good bookkeeper. He is recording all of this. He he perfectly documents everything. The Bible says in the book of Proverbs, the eyes of the Lord are everywhere, beholding the evil and the good. Every one of these procedures that is done in a medical clinic, there is a holy God in heaven writing it down. The name, the 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 person, and and, and I, I believe that those those infants, I believe they go to heaven right into the arms of Jesus. Absolutely. And God keeps perfect records of all that. And these people think that this that 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 this is their right. Yeah, you have the right. Just you have the right to do this just like you have the right to die and go to hell. Just because you have the right doesn't mean it's right. And just because just because you claim that you know, my body, my choice, or whatever doesn't mean that there's not going to be consequences in the life now and in the life after. This is is wickedness and really ladies and gentlemen what i'm telling you is that you're seeing the rise of the divine feminine like never before we are in we are in crazy land right now with all this divine feminine stuff i'm telling you guys right now you need to go back to our channel and watch third adam three rise of the divine feminine this thing will blow your mind over over a quarter million views on it right now This documentary explains everything, mystical, sensual, agreeable. All of these these characteristics of the divine feminine are what these people are. Guys, in this documentary, I kind of had to tone it down a little bit because, quite frankly, when I said sensual, I I was being kind. The, The divine feminine is a total whore. Like, like lit, legit, out of control, unhinged promiscuity, and and wicked. I mean, I'm talking about the Bible uses the whore of Babylon, and that's exactly right. That's exactly what it is. And so, when you see all these people out here, that you have to realize that's what these people are. They're into this. The divine feminine is rising. It is rising like never before, and you are seeing the rage of diana of the ephesians you're seeing all that right now before your very eyes it's time to get right with god it's time to come out from her my people it's time to get away from her and live for jesus guys i'm scared to death i I just i mean (laughs) this stuff blows my mind but at the same time things are looking really good because things are looking really bad 
and we thank God for the opportunity to live for Jesus in this in a day and age. Guys, prayerfully consider supporting this channel, supporting the work that we do. We need your help in this fight to try to get more videos out, more, more, more views out, and try our best to tell the truth in a world of lies. That's what we're going to do. That's our mission because doctrine matters. The gospel matters. Truth matters. We need to stand because doctrine matters. And we pray that you would pray for us. And share this video with your friends and family. If this video was a blessing to you, hit the like button and subscribe if you're new. We love you all. We'll see you soon.